let's let's go. Let's just see. We're on our way out of the city anyway, right? So I'm guessing we'll do this. We'll get him out. We'll go do the Act of Mercy uh, mission. And then we'll come back as long as everything goes according to plan, which it always does, of course. Hey, Katojin. Tromping the deep dark with a horn skull mage and other colloquials to that effect. <laughs> well, wow, these these guys are everywhere. Okay, you. Mm-hmm. First fight in a little while. Wow, look at the wow. <laughs> that was that was brutal. Someone's left a surprise here for us. Good catch there, Varric. <laughs> it looks like Varric actually did disarm that trap that he saw, but uh, that people, other people, set off the other traps. All right, the Warrens of Undercity. I think I've been in a place like this, but <sighs> before. And it is dangerous. I guess it's just so unknown down here. There's only so much uh, that shield bash will affect, it seems. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Press on. They don't seem to be coming in behind us, which is good. There we go. No. Okay. We're all right. We're all right. Keep pressing. And wait for the time. Now is good. Oh shit, I'm trapped in a web. Fall on in. It's pretty good tempest though. Man. Okay, just uh you're gonna need to stonewall for a second. You go. Let the mages go. Day in their damage. Pay attention to me. So Meryl is having some trouble there. So let's get her out of harm's reach. You okay? What's that you've got there? Death Siphon. Okay. Bethany? Oh, that was you summoning the dog. <laughs> cool. But it looks like you just summoned a Kunari. <laughs> Which would be a cool spell. See that? If we got a Kunari instead of a dog as part of the DLC, that would at least be different from Freldon. From Dragon Age Origins, be a bit like. Everyone, stay still and try not to make any loud noises. Oh my God, Varric, dude, you gotta I be faster. Like you have got to be faster. But for now, let's walk. Yes. So it'd be like having stand back in Dragon Age Origins. It would less sass. Oh, God damn it! Come on, come on, come on! They're so powerful, the mages. So I wonder if it's worth going into their tactics and making them marginally less effective. I wonder how their tactics are doing. Uh, bits of the Fallen. Ooh, sweet. What did I do with that? I had the Boots of the Fallen. That's actually just better. Uh, health and attack. So am I wearing it? Gauntlets of the Fallen and then Boots of the Fallen. Yeah, I'm just wearing them. Sweet. Okay. And they are outfit adjacent. <laughs> They're not quite great, is the thing. That's really cool. We're getting those gradually as we go. But did we get like a story behind them or anything like that? Uh items? Yeah, okay. The Fallen. Cadre of Knights, various marches. I feel like we've read this before. Little better than bandits, but to the marches they were heroes. Warriors that fought in for freedom and autonomy. Most of the fallen died in the fields of uh, Gislian. That explains why these this armor is sort of scattered about. Mm-hmm. Very nice. He's not very helpful, is he? Who him? No, I don't. I don't think he can cast spells, unfortunately. More spiders any second now, but I'm taking my time and making sure that no traps are gonna go off. Oh, hello. Thugs. Ah, look at this. Under cities feared by all. But there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. Really? You're just here? What is this thing? Call it like a dog lord's bitch. Oh, he's my game. He's some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who'll pay the most for your pet. Hmm. 
Uh, I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. This is a smart one. Almost too late for that. Ah, uh, you should listen to him, dude. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? <laughs> you not think you're so damn right? Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers? Mm hmm You want us bound, like this thing? I'll see you dead first. Whoa. He does stuff. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! Sure. <laughs> Kill them all. Aha! I knew there'd be a second wave that was too easy. Let's do this. We're burning through these guys so fast, it's almost not worth drawing threat. Whoa, dramatic. They get the idea, Kunari, Ketogen, whatever. Calm yourself! Huh. <laughs> um. Why? Did you react because your lead was threatened? <laughs> How much of this is just blind instinct, I wonder? I'm not sure if any of it is. A mute person can still think. And in fact has more time for thinking than a lot of others. But it's the Kunari side which confuses me most. Mute I understand, Kunari is just, it's, they're unknowable and every part of them is so different. I've met the warriors, this is my first mage. And it's so hard to understand their motives. You can't gesture or, or stomp your feet twice for yes or something. <laughs> Why does that woman think he wants to leave? He's just... sort of a great lump. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Although I'm not entirely sure what offends this guy, so you might want to be, you know, careful around the wordage. You did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? <laughs> Ugh. Right. Could have expected that answer. <laughs> Whatever. I'm getting you out of here before you help again. <laughs> Still clear as a bell. Great. Okay. Okay. On we carry. Interesting. Whenever I come across thugs like these, um, my instinct... Oh, I'm in the floor. <laughs> my instinct automatically is to be like, uh... Kill them, honestly. Like, because there, there's options to maybe talk your way past, but I'm just sort of like, oh look, a problem with my city that I happened to run into. Let's deal with it here instead of just making our own way past it. That's a pretty good amulet. Okay, Vinmark Mountain Pass. Let's see if our exit is clear. I can't imagine what would come up. He is Talva Shoth, so maybe the Kunari are hunting their own. Especially since we neglected them that chance to do it themselves. Here we go. Outside air. Wounded coast. Lovely. Oh god. Oh. Oh no, it's actual Kunari. Hmm. Oh dear. You will hold Basra Vashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talvashov, but their disposal leads only here to Sarabas and you. Their disposal, sorry? The members of his Karatom were killed by Talvashov, but their disposal leads only here to Sarabas and to you. Someone left a trail? I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarah Bas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Sarah Bas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? 
Mm. Sarabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. Oh, man. Hopefully this will help. I'm trying to get through to his motivations here. If he wants to go with them... I'll let him. Ugh, but that would make an enemy of the Chantry. With Bethany, I'm not sure can I risk that. If that's his wish taken, he must be free. What does that mean? The sister called him Katojan. You are Cerebas? Cerebas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. And you are Avarad? My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who leave the Kune. Or Baz who have not yet been enlightened. Okay. Is that me, Baz? There's danger here. There's such danger in your attitude. But somebody did set this up. Somebody trailed you here. What's going on? You don't care that someone abused your dead to get you here. No doubt they were cast from your shoulders as you or your partner thieves grew weak. It is a crime whose victims are beyond caring. It will be dealt with, but the greater threat is clear. It is my role to secure Sarah Bas. It is the role of another to purge the perversions of your kind. I think he's talking about mages there. Uh, that mages are the perversion of our kind, and that's why we he's saying we should deal with our own mages. What is this? He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebas have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Like so many others. We leash Cerebas because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. Hmm. <laughs> is a mage like Bethany so threatening? I don't see it. I'd hope not, brother. <laughs> you and Cerebas, Baz Cerebas, are of the same womb? Vashidan! Neira Sitar Karasam! Oh, joy. You spewed your words at me like a demon trying to poison my control. Like this mage, the cube requires your death. But we're no threat to each other. Bas Cerebas, you will be no threat to any. Whoa. <laughs> so... I could have sighted the arrow shock here, but I don't know what that would have got me. Instead, I called out Bethany as a mage. I still don't understand what made him fly off the handle. He just said that our mages aren't are our own business. I need to review this stuff. I was I had such trouble following that conversation. But this is the way it's gonna be. Maybe a lack of communication led to this. Maybe an opportunity was missed. You just threatened my sister, mate. For that, you'll all die. Timmy. See, now I kind of understand why you fear that power. <laughs> You're almost dead. So are you. How are you doing? How about you? You've got a bit left in you yet. Ah, I'm stuck though. And it looks like some people are targeting others. Um, their health's doing okay, but Avarad, how about these guys back there? They're all sort of low on health. Bethany, why are you so close? Go on a cold. And just take that guy down. And then get away, what the hell are you doing up here? Oh, hello. There, I thought we were almost done. Okay, so they're over there. What happened there? Oh, that was Meryl's stone fist. That guy just went flying. 
So that guy's doing that. Uh, if I can step over here and threat and taunt, that should draw people in. Not them. But Meryl seems all over that. Uh, you fling a fireball over that direction? Just to get some damage down. Turn around. Mm hmm. God, I really do like the combat in this. It does make you feel nice and powerful. That's a lot of blood. You okay? Can you stand? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. the rod. Whoa, there we that I did it. <laughs> I um Whoa Unbound <gasps> Odd Wrong But you deserve honor. <laughs> you are now Pasvarad worthy of following. I thank your intent, even if it was wrong. What? I know the will of our Varad. I must return as it demanded. It is the wisdom of the Kuhn. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, you're accepting death? So after all of this, now you want to die? I do not want to die. I want to live by the Kuhn. Which means dying. Yes. Is that hard to grasp? Hmm. What would you have done if I hadn't killed him? Could you have returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my Keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. Ugh. How I return is my choice. It must be. But that does not mean there is no meaning. Mm. And if he was wrong? Arvarad couldn't kill me. Perhaps he was wrong about your death, too. Losing to you does not make him wrong. He spoke the Kuhn. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not a choice. Hmm. It is the only choice. As it tal ebb, it is to be. Yeah. To choose to be or to not be. It's the only choice you have to make. You want to live by the Kun. But you already can't. So now your choice is to live or die. or not stickin. <laughs> I think we have an opportunity here. Beyond what he wants himself. This is a very difficult situation for me to weigh in because I understand so little. I don't know if I'm just being dumb. Or if the Kunari are meant to be this perplexing and unknowable. They throw in their own jargon to every single sentence all the time. It makes it really hard to follow what they say. I, I'm only half sure of why uh, Arvrad flew off the handle when I said that Bethany was a mage. He, sa he said something about being my, s being my sister. Maybe it was because I was her guardian when I was like bound by the same blood or something that I couldn't be a noble, but he also said that we should deal with our mages as we do, or maybe I misinterpreted that part. I don't know. I really don't. But what I do understand is that this Kunari wants something which it can't have. It. This Kunari wants something what he can't that he can't have. So I could allow him to return and submit himself to the Kun and die. The reason he wants to do that is because he trusts so much in the wisdom of the Kuhn. And therefore will submit to what it wants. Ugh. Hmm, 
could you go back? Patrice might take you back if death is the only other option. The sister was not honest. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I cannot say what she wanted, but it was certainty, not of the Cune. And her guard smelled of death. I gotta say, I agree with you. Something about that sister rubbed me up the wrong way as well. The way that she spoke and the way that she acted. Some of the things that she said were admirable, but if you're saying that she can't be trusted, I don't know why, but I believe you. How about the Talva Shoth? They attacked you in the first place. Others of your kind live outside the Kuhn. You could join them. They are not my kind. I am Kinari. They are not. They have chosen to be free. Free? They have refused what they are. I can't choose to not be. Is that what it means by being? Um, if you're a part of the Kuhn, you are. If you're not part of the Kuhn, you are nothing. Is that what that means? <sighs> Do what you want. Ah. <sighs> Submit himself to the Kuhn. What does this mean? Does this mean I take him into my into my own party? What if the sister set that trap, left the trail so that the Kunari would find the mage here and take him back? Or was he just trying to was she just trying to get me killed? Very unlikely. Very unlikely. Um, I was very unknown to her. Or at least it seemed as much. What gain would she possibly get from setting that up? I don't know. I'm inclined to not let you go because I'm sensing an opportunity here. If you're going to stay with me, then an opportunity to find out more about the Kun. To see how far the Kunari can stretch. And to see if a Kunari can find itself out the Kun. Out with the Kun. Without becoming a Talvashoth bandit. We saw like an honourable mercenary one earlier. Urgh. I mean, morally, I sort of want to do this, just let him submit himself and be done with it. Oh god, I just don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to make a decision. Do you know, I'm sensing a push here. If he goes back, it's death either way. There's hesitation here. I think I can push him. I think this is too big of an opportunity to let pass. So I'm going to push you over the edge here, and let's see what happens. I can't let this decision stand. If you force choice, it is not choice. Your doubt does not make me wrong. Certainty is comfort. That is the way of the Kunari. The way of the Kune. Take this secret thing, Basvarad. Remember this day. What's he doing? Whoa, whoa! There he goes. I have no words. That poor creature. She may not have known about this, but clearly Patrice set a trail right to us. It seems likely she set them on us. But why? But why indeed? After all that... After all that, my decision didn't mean anything. He enforced his choice. Hmm. 
We got a codex up updated. Um, Talisman of Sarabas. A simple shape on a leather cord. The uneven polish is not a failure of workmanship, rather the result of exacting and repeated study by powerful hands. Black glimmers curl just beneath a surface that should be solid. And there are glimpses of a core that seems to be carved from a piece of horn. Gaze for more than a moment and it seems to stir something in an uncommonly dark corner of the mind, coaxing out a familiar primal emotion. Want. It is impossible to say whether Sarabas intended this as reinforcement or restriction. At the moment it simply is. The secret thing was never meant for the eyes of another and yet he gave it to me. Canari are so unknowable. Beyond elves or dwarfs or anything. <laughs> they make no sense. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, that was that. Uh, let's see. Come on, shepherding thing. Only home, home friendly guard. Where's my completed quest? Hi hold on. Or oh, is this is it still ongoing? Aha. Return to Petrice at our safe house at night in Lowtown to discuss the Canary ambush. Yes, do let's. And where the hell are we? Vilmark Mountain Pass. This doesn't seem like much of an area. I don't know if we'll ever have to come back here. Yashad. The Karasad. No loot off uh, the main body. What's that up there? It's a plant. Just a plant. Oh no, it's not. It's a, <laughs> it's a pile of bones disguised as a plant. Yeah. Is uh, that in here somewhere? Those plot. Oh, hang on. Is that it? Oh, here it is. Two health regeneration rate. Blood magic. Each point of health provides 0 0.25 additional mana. Wait, hang on. Blood magic? Is that how you're able to cast spells without uttering words? And I thought they cut out the tongues of mages in uh, Parvolan. It seems they do something like that, but it's more like a binding. A spell in and of itself to keep them quiet. Who knows? <laughs> 